This program was designed to raise awareness about the fact that running from the police never ends well for anyone. If you find you have the urge to run, stop and take the keys out of the ignition, and prepare yourself to properly talk to the officer. No matter what the problem is give the attorneys and courts a chance to deal with the situation. By fleeing from the police everything gets worse. You may kill yourself, or innocent bystanders. So please do not flee, just take the ticket, and deal with it in court. Okay, we're back with our next guest, Chief Paul Mazuski for the Centerline Police Department. And uh, he and Paul, thanks for being here today. And Paul, My so uh, what we're talking about today is is traffic. Why 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 people would make the bad mistake to run from police when someone is pulled over on a traffic stop, and and they and they they uh, what occurs if that person tries to flee the police? Well, when they're stopped by the police and decide to run, the minute they take off, the officer's going to call out that there's a chase, give location, direction of travel, and so on. At that time, other officers are going to converge in that area, either to block off traffic or try to do something to slow the chase down or stop it if they can. How dangerous is, it, dangerous is that when, when that happens? I mean, oh, for the driver who tries to, who makes the bad choice to flee the police. It's terrible. The driver has now took what would have been a 90% chance of just getting a ticket and calling it a day. He's now crossed that line and he is committing a felony. And that means he will spend years to the rest of his life in prison, depending on the outcome of the chase. Yeah. And these people, and, and is, is it too late for someone to simply make a more rational decision to simply stop at that point yes that's the smartest thing you can do if you start making a bad decision and take off from the police the best thing you can do at that point is pull over and stop okay. now most likely because you took off even though you did stop you will probably get arrested okay because of what you did okay. but at the same time the chances of you getting charged with a felony go down considerably well you know sometimes that's the worst the people's worst fear is that they get or does they get arrested um is that will they be mistreated when they get arrested never that's stuff that's sensationalized by television by the media those days are long long gone police officers now with everybody recording them officers themselves having in car cameras and body cameras they have to justify all their actions so all they're going to do is arrest you that's and it there's no none of this other stuff you see on TV or that's been sensationalized by the media that stuff does not happen and the officers involved with the, with an arrest they have to follow protocols and rules and they're subject to supervision of their supervisors on everything that they do, right? Yes, sir. In fact, most likely all their body camera and in-car camera uh, video will be reviewed by a supervisor okay. or a command officer. So the so the person who thinks about fleeing police, their worst possible fear, it, it's they 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 get simply get arrested, they get processed, and they're typically either released from the station or released from the county jail, right? Before the chase gets out of hand, right. yes, sure. Now, and then, if it goes farther, that's a whole different story. Sure, and um, uh, so if someone if someone has the uh, if if someone if what I mean, what message would you have? You've seen chases where people have been hurt, correct? Far too many, and 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 it's typically traumatic for the officers involved, isn't it? Yes, it is. It affects them for a long time, doesn't it? Yes, it does affect them. And some of these traffic stops or the choice for them to flee police is something like an instant decision that has long-lasting effects, doesn't it? Yes, it can have permanent effects and, to and, and, all and, people. And some people, they get in bad crashes and they live with the pain and dysfunction for years, right? Yes, sir. And then um, what message would you send to people when they're stopped by police who have that little thought in their head of running away from the police don't don't run away from the police cooperate do whatever the police officer tells you to do 
If he wants you to give him your license registration, just hand it to him. It's not worth the argument. No matter what happens, you're not going to win it out on the street. You can deal with it in court. He'll give you a ticket. And then when you get that ticket and you leave, because you had that fleeting moment to stop and think, oh, this isn't a good idea to run from the police, when you get there, even though you have a ticket in your hand, when you get to where you're going, look around and say, I'm here. I am doing what I want to do now. Mm -hmm. If I would have ran, one of three things is going to happen to me. I'd end up in prison, I'd end up in a hospital, or I'd end up in the morgue. That's what would happen. But because I didn't do it, I can continue my life. I don't have the guilt of hurting or killing somebody. I am not going to spend the rest of my life in prison. I'm even going to do whatever I want, what I want, what I planned on doing this day, whether it was going to the store, visiting a friend, or having, you know, just going home. Mm -hmm. But you get to do that now because you didn't run from the police. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. In your experience that with people that sometimes, let's, let's say they have something wrong in their car, they have a stolen gun, or they have drugs in their car, do they usually get long, any kind of long terms, or do they usually get probation? I'm just generally, and I'm not talking about people that did have a terrible criminal history, but generally speaking, don't most of them just get probation anyway? Yes, the way the system is now, the way it's designed and the way they want it handled is a lot of people that have been caught with uh, stolen items will end up getting some form of probation on the deal somewhere down the line or get plea to something else. And just all of these, all, all people that, all choices that someone makes a bad choice to, to run away the police, that's all, that's always an irrational decision, isn't it? It's always a poor decision because you took a problem and now you've made it exponentially worse. And usually, in fact, there, there's an unintended consequence. They don't think they're going to hurt someone else, but they end up doing it, right? Yes. Most of the time, it's an innocent party that gets hurt or a family or two or three people or even the person running could get injured and be permanently injured. And, and have to limp or whatever it is the rest of his life. And it affects it affects the officer and the and and the the the, the mental health of everyone involved, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it's a tr it's a traumatic uh, exposure to an incident. Right. So even the even the responders, like the ambulance, when there's a bad crash, there, there's an ambulance person that comes to try to save the person, and then there's the fire department that tries to save the person. Even even the even if someone dies and the, 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 the coroner has to come get the body, they're affected by all this, true? Yes, yes. Everyone it affects them in some form or the other. So what would your message be to, to anyone who even thinks about fleeing the police? Don't. The juice isn't worth the squeeze. You can get a ticket and call it a day, or you could ruin the rest of your life. Right. Don't take the chance of ruining the rest of your life. Just get the ticket and go about your business. It's that simple. Nothing will, nothing bad will really happen to you. Is there anything that you would say to a young driver about who's getting pulled over what the proper procedure is? Oh, I'd love to explain it. It's very, very simple. When you get stopped by the police, remember, the policeman doesn't know you knows nothing about you, doesn't know where you've been, where you're going, or what you've done. You're just a stranger in a car that he's walking up to. So what you want to do is do exactly what the police officer asks. Keep your hands on a wheel, put your car in park, roll down the window. If you want to roll down a couple more windows so he can look inside, that's fine. Do you remember, the officer's only there looking out for his safety. So then the officer is going to ask you for your license, registration, and proof of insurance. Give it to him. Remember, whether you think you committed the violation or not, you are not going to win an argument out on the street. The officer is going to write you a ticket, 
And that's just not the place to have that conversation. The best thing you could do, and I mean the best thing you could do, is say, sure, officer, here's my stuff. Get your license and registration. If you have to go in the glove box, yeah, I'm going to reach in the glove box and get this. There's nothing in there, but I just want to tell you, get your paperwork in here, officer. Can you tell me what I got stopped for? And if he says, you were speeding, you go, yeah, you got me there. I was going about 10 over when you stopped me. There's a strong possibility you walk out of that whole incident without even a ticket. Because people don't tell the cops the truth. They always want to argue or lie about what they did. They know what they did wrong. Take it to court. You will get it all taken care of there. And the chance of you being successful in your case is better. But you're not going to win an argument in the street. And if you're honest, upfront, and truthful to the policeman, do exactly as he says, you will end up probably having a very positive experience. And there's a good chance you'll walk away without any type of traffic violation. And the, and the driver's job is not to simply litigate and argue with the police officer, it's simply to accept whatever paperwork the officer wants to give, whether it's a citation or anything else. And even if the drivers to get arrested, they're required by law and rationality to simply become booked, processed, and then they'll promptly be released in almost in most in 99% of the cases. Yeah, they don't want to keep you locked up in jail. The police want you out of the holding facility as quickly as possible. So if they have to rush you, they're going to find a reason to send you home. Right. This okay. program was designed to raise awareness about the fact that running from the police never ends well for anyone. If you find you have the urge to run, stop and take the keys out of the ignition, and prepare yourself to properly talk to the officer. No matter what the problem is, give the attorneys and courts a chance to deal with the situation. By fleeing from the police, everything gets worse. You may kill yourself, or innocent bystanders. So please do not flee, just take the ticket, and deal with it in court.